This is the all-new Community Connection. I'm your host, Jade Harrell, keeping you connected to our community. The unaffordability of medication places stress on families and can result in unnecessary hospitalization or even loss of life. And the Affordable Care Act did not necessarily make medicine affordable for everyone. I'm joined today by Michael Holmes with Rx Outreach. Good day to you, sir. Good morning. Good day to you. (laughs) Thank you very much. So tell us a bit more about RX Outreach and how you are addressing this tremendous need. Absolutely. RX Outreach is a not-for-profit mail-order pharmacy, and our mission is to make medicine affordable to people. There are still over 27 million people that do not have insurance. Mm -hmm. And even though the Affordable Care Act did a great job of helping a lot of people, there are still people who cannot afford their medication. And even those who still have health insurance may not have proper coverage for their drugs. Mm -hmm. How were you able to come together as a nonprofit for this and address it in this way? Well, we had a generous donation from Express Scripts. There were a group of us who were with Express Scripts, and they donated a full pharmacy to us to start this not-for-profit. And we started it five years ago. And over the last five years, we've helped over 200,000 people wow. save over $300 million. Absolutely. Now, talk about the significance of that because of the concern of the cost of health care as well as the definite medicine needs, the medication that is needed for treating all sorts of illnesses. Tell us why this is so significant. Well, you know, a lot of people every year die because they cannot afford Mm. their medication. I'll give you an example of this is hypertension. Hypertension is a silent killer, especially in our community, because a lot of people have hypertension and they don't feel it. But if they don't address it, it can kill them. And so they need to stay on their medication. And our mission is to make medicine affordable so that people can stay on their medication so that they don't have to choose between do I pay my rent, you know, Mm -hmm. do I pay my utilities, or do I take this medication? Our whole goal is to help making this medicine affordable for people so that they can continue and live a healthy life. Absolutely. And that is a choice that people make every single day. Tell me how it works. It's real simple. We serve people up to 300% of the federal poverty level. So that means an individual can make $35,310 and still qualify. A family of four can make a little over $72,000 and still qualify for our services. Mm -hmm. All you do is you call us or you go online at www.rxoutreach.org or you can call us at 1-888-796-1234. And we can enroll you right there on the phone. You don't have to attach anything. If you go online to our website, you can actually uh, apply right online through our website. And we're here to to help you. It doesn't cost anything to join. It doesn't cost anything for shipping. You simply take a look at our medications and we make them affordable for you. And you just pay for what you choose. And I can give you some examples if you'd like. I would because Um, I think, so. you know, it's so easy to go to the pharmacy on the corner for some and for many people because of marketing and just convenience that that may be all that we're aware of is an option. Yeah, absolutely. And we're an option that makes medicine affordable. Mm-hmm. So, for example, if someone has allergies, and you know St. Louis is bad for that. Yes, it is. Um, Flonase, the generic of that is fluticasone nasal spray, which is what you'll usually get if you go to the pharmacy. Mm-hmm. We provide that for $15 a bottle. Really? Okay. Someone that has anxiety issues like maybe on Valium or Diazepam, we provide uh, 90 tablets for $8. Wow. Okay? Yeah, someone with arthritis may be on like tramadol or in pain, and they may take tramadol. We provide 90 tablets for $7 there. Mm-hmm. Someone on cancer may be taking the drug Fenmara, or the generic of that is Letrozole. Mm-hmm. We provide that for $30 for a 90-day supply. Mm-hmm. So our whole mission is to make medicine affordable so that people can afford it. And this year, we'll save patients over $80 million. And we need every bit of that, especially as we're looking to focus on our health. Help me paint the picture so folks can understand the enormous cost difference and how much of an impact that can be on your budget, your daily living. Absolutely. And it's across the board. And Mm -hmm. some people, you know, can take up to 10 different medications or more if they're really ill. But some of these Mm -hmm. drugs may cost $1,100, $1,200 at retail, and they may get them from $40 for us. Mm-hmm. There are other drugs that they, you know, will provide some savings. But, for example, uh, someone on metformin for uh, diabetes, they can get a six-month supply for us for $20. Mm-hmm. So based upon how many pills they take, that price will vary at pharmacy. Mm-hmm. You know, for some of the pills, you get a small savings. For a lot of the medications, you'll get significant savings. Mm-hmm. Uh, it really depends upon what drug you're on and how often you have to take it. Most of our medications don't have quantity limits. Some of them do, but a lot of them don't, which means we'll provide as many as you need. We have people that are on metformin. 
metformin, and they'll take over a thousand pills in six months. We provide that for that $20. Mm-hmm. How do people get their medicine? We actually mail it right to your home, and because we sometimes deal with indigent people, if it's not a controlled substance, we can send it to your neighbor's home, uh, we can send it to a church, we can send it to just about anywhere that's a legal resident for that patient. Awesome. And dispel the generic version of your commercial drug myth. Oh, they're the same. By FDA standards, they are the exact same. In fact, when you go to retail stores, the vast majority of times, you will get the generic, not the brand. (laughs) And by the way, we do have brand and generic of some drugs. Mm -hmm. So it really depends upon the drug. We have both. But we're getting our drugs from the same place that you'll get if you go to any retail pharmacy. We buy directly from the manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Remove the obstacles. Eliminate the barriers to your health and wellness. Hey, can I toss in a personal question? Absolutely. What about the albuterol? raw nebulizers. (laughs) You know, they are so expensive. We are actually in a process of adding now, for example, the uh, albuterol inhalation solution. Yes, for the We've got got $15 for up up to 75 vials. There we go. (laughs) There we go. That that is a big one. So, Mm -hmm. you know, the one thing that we don't have yet that we would like to get was insulin, and we're still working on getting that. But, you know, if you take a look at our website, we list every single drug. We list the price for every drug. And by the way, some of the drugs are even free. Mm -hmm. So some of them have zero costs associated with them. We are a not-for-profit organization. So we don't do this to make money. We do this to help people. That's right. And as a non-profit organization, this is another reason why we are so happy to share this with our audience. But there are ways to help as a non-profit. You will have fundraisers and events. Tell us about the exciting event coming up on August 7th. Oh, yes. August 7th, we have cocktails on the field. We're actually going to be at uh, Bush Stadium, the home of the Cardinals. It's not a night that the Cardinals are playing, so we actually have the stadium. We're going to have cocktails right on the field and in the dugout. People can actually throw to a uh, catcher who's actually in Cardinal uniform, one of their bullpen catchers, or they can take batting practice in Mm -hmm. one of the batting cages for the Cardinals. So this is one of the ways we raise money to try and lower the cost of medication. Mm -hmm. All the dollars that we bring in help lower the price of the medication so that we can make medicine affordable for people. Mm-hmm. And so that starts at um, 6 o'clock on August the 7th, but you have to register in advance. And they can do that, you know, either by mailing in something to us or going to our website and get the information from our website, or they can call Julie Reed at 627-6201, and she can actually enroll them for the event. The It starts as low as $100 for the evening's entertainment, and that includes cocktails, uh, hors d'oeuvres, and you know the batting practice and pitching to the Cardinals uh, catchers. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun for a very great cause. Reserve your tickets right away. Make sure you give them a call, 314-627-6201 for Julie. Julie Reed will answer that call. The website, again, is Outreach. Dot org, And if you need help and you want to learn more and you need to uh, really find out how you can get the medicines you need, again, you want to also call 314-627-6201. Is that the main line? Well, that's okay. For calling about the drugs or enrollment in the program, yeah. they should dial 1-888-796-1234. Yes. Say it one more time. <laughs> sure. No problem. If they want information about how to enroll in the program or have questions about the program, uh, people can call 1-888-796-1234, and that's a toll-free call. Absolutely. Thank you again, Michael Holmes, president of RX Outreach. All right, that's it for this week. If you have questions or comments or have something you'd like to include in the community calendar, you can leave a message on our message box at 314-333-8369, 314-333-8369. And for more information about our show or any of our guests, you can visit us online and listen to the podcast at Spreaker.com. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And search Community Connection with Jade Harrell. You all be blessed, do blessed, and take care.